Welcome everybody. Welcome to your message from your divine compassionate guides. You may see that I've already flipped the card for today. I've done this because I've tried to do this video a couple of times because of course I've pre-shuffled the cards, knew what the message was, and came to present it to everybody. I am personally struggling with this card and how to present it. The message is very clear. We are being guided to channel and connect to the higher realms. What I'm struggling with is some of the ways that things we've made, such as these oracle cards and the ways we have been living, have things in them that are wrong. So when I was reading about our channeling our knowledge, which is a great message, which is about our critical judgment and about connecting and finding our way to be able to trust in being able to do some automatic writing, being able to process the spirit directly with our writing and without using our active consciousness. So we can really get those deep messages that we may not be listening to. But they use as an example for challenge, for people that are challenged or challenged, channeled before as Albert Einstein. We have a systemic, systematic problem in our culture. People we highly regarded in history or have been looked upon have been completely based on lies. Albert Einstein was a pedophile. He also married his cousin so he could then prey on her two daughters and marry them as well. He was an occultist in not a good way. He worked for the deep state and the dark. So coming to channel this message, channeling can be used for both good and bad. This is a tool. This is why I often will get hate or people that don't like the message that is coming through. Because when we come to things that are going into the esoteric end that are not necessarily supported by organized religions, such as tarot cards, oracle card readings, channeling, intuitive writing. These have been com uh, compensate, not compensate is not the word, but taken over by the dark powers. And then they've convinced us that they are bad and we can't use them for the good. But the reality is any tool they use, we can use as well for the light and for channeling and for doing what is good. Everything comes down to your intention. Intention is everything. So if you want to open up to create peace, harmony, abundance and prosperity in your life and for others and to help heal and serve, you will attract that energy. If that is not your purpose, you will not attract that energy. So as we go forward, and we are going through into some very important truths, and we are coming forward to learning lots of information, some of this old stuff we had, these cards are fantastic. But the way we thought about them, the people we admired, Albert Einstein, these, these things will have to be rewritten in our history into truth, into what actually is real. Who were those divine guides that actually channeled for the good and for the higher light for humanity? Those are who we should be respecting and looking up to. So today's message, channel your knowledge. Allow yourself the quiet time. Trust in sensing your intuitive skills. That's what I use when I'm talking about this. Like I intuitively feel words come out of me. I've always struggled with writing. Writing words is, is a struggle for me, which is maybe also why this message is a struggle for me as well. So we're being called to trust our intuition, sense our intuitive skills, and try to use our active, like without being actively conscious, see what messages we can find. So if we're feeling, feeling physically, mentally, or energetically blocked, stuck in, stuck in areas of our life, such as employment, relationships, the actions we need to do is let go of our expectations, create a peaceful environment to free our mind. And you know what? We can use a pen and pencil to help release this information. Maybe sketching, doodles, symbols, music to help create, assist in writing block, in writer's blocks. With relaxed breath, we let our thoughts inspire us to create new information as our inner thoughts and spiritual messages are conveyed to 
record in written word. As we work with our higher vibrations or elevated energy levels, this will improve our communication and length of spiritual discussion. So we are being called to channel your knowledge and open. And the affirmation is my mind is open. I receive my soul's guidance loud and clear. So whether you use the pen to paper, which is what they're encouraging you to do, whether you can trust through your intuition, whether you can trust through the message, this message which completely, per completely appropriate for myself. I had dreams of when I was doing a shamanic course and I was exploring these deep knowledge and I was doing images and I did lots and lots of doodling and images and I had this weird dream about that that I hadn't thought about in a number of years and then this card overlapping with it it's very appropriate but I find it interesting that today's message was hard for me to portray in the way that I feel was best and the most appropriate I feel there's a lot for me to learn with this as well as it always is and I hope that there is this message here for you to channel your knowledge critical judgment, be open. But we're gonna be finding lots of broken information as we go forward with new truths coming into us and into our, into our realm. Truths that have been here, but have been hidden from us is gonna change a lot of perspectives. So when we go through a book that maybe two years ago we would have read and seen that name, Albert Einstein, and maybe didn't think much of it, but now we read a book and see his name and immediately cringe. This is part of our awakening process, channeling our knowledge and coming back to truth. Until tomorrow, namaste.